Let us understand how to execute SQL scripts using PSQL. As part of the previous topic, we have seen how to create a database and a user. Now we will be seeing a bit realistic data set and we will see how to ensure that the tables are created as well as the data is loaded into the tables that are created in the database. For this purpose, we will be creating a new database and then run the scripts which are cloned from GitHub. First, we will be cloning the GitHub repository onto the host. Then we will copy the folder which contains scripts to ITV underscore PG container under root folder forward slash. Make sure retail underscore db database and retail underscore user user are created. Then we will actually run the appropriate scripts to create tables as well as to insert the data. Then we will validate that tables are created and data is inserted by running simple queries. So on Ubuntu based VM which is provisioned from TCP, we can run this command to clone the repository. If you are in a different directory than your home directory, you can always run this command called as cd to go to the home directory on the VM or the server on which you are trying to set these things up. So in this case, I have to connect it to the web console. I can say cd to ensure that I am in the home directory. And then I can run this git clone command which will ensure that the retail db repository is cloned from github to this local machine. And then you should be able to run ls-ltr retail db. You should be able to see the files in it. Now as part of the second step, we need to copy the script and validate. For that, you can use this docker container cp command or docker cp command. You can specify the retail db either using a relative path or fully qualified path. If you want to use the relative path, this is how the command will look like. Docker container cp retail db itv pg colon forward slash. If you want to specify fully qualified path, you can actually say slash home slash dga diraj which is my user account in this case and then you should be able to specify retail db like this. It will take care of copying the folder into the root folder in our itv underscore pg which is nothing but the container. Now you can actually validate by running these commands. This will take care of uh, checking whether the retail DB on the container have the files or not. I just have to go to the web console and have to paste this. You can see that there are a bunch of files. We should be able to run these scripts once we launch the psql. The way you can launch the psql is by using this command. It will take care of connecting to the psql on the container. So in this case, I am going to the web console and I am pasting this command. It will take care of getting into the Postgres that is running as part of the container. Now as we are in the container, we should be able to create the database by running these commands. In this case, I am creating a retail db database, retail user with password retail underscore password. In our case, try to use a different password than this so that people cannot guess and hack into your system. Once you create the database and the user, you should be able to grant the permissions on the database to user using grant all database retail underscore db to retail underscore user. Now I can actually go to the web console in which we are already connected to Postgres and we should be able to run these commands to take care of creating the required database as well as the user. You should come out of this because you should validate as retail underscore user. To connect to Postgres as retail underscore user, you can leverage this command. It will take care of uh, connecting to the database using retail underscore user username and we will be connecting to the database retail underscore db directly. If I copy paste this as part of the console here, it will take us into the psql once we enter the password and we are in the retail underscore db database within the postgres. Now we should be able to run the scripts using backward slash i. The scripts are under slash retail underscore db. The script which will facilitate us to create the tables is nothing but this one. You can copy paste this like this and you can see that all the tables are created. You can also say backward slash i slash retail underscore db. You can also autofill by just hitting tab. This is the script which will facilitate us to load the data into the tables. It will take care of loading all the six tables that are created as part of the previous script. Now we got the tables as well as the uh, data loaded into the tables. You can validate by saying backward slash d like this. You can see all the six tables, orders, order items, departments, customers, categories and products. If you want to see properties of a particular table, you can say backward slash d like this and then orders like this and you can see the details. Same is the case with order underscore items. You should be able to see the details with respect to order underscore items. This is how you should be able to validate whether the tables are there with all the properties uh, we are looking for. Now to ensure that data is copied, we have to run some select queries. So in this case, I can say select star from orders limit 10 to see the data from orders table. You can see the data here which means data is successfully loaded into the table. Even if you look at the output when the script have ran earlier, there are no errors, which means data is successfully loaded 
but to understand how the data look like within the tables you can run these simple queries you can also say select count of one from orders like this to get the number of records that are loaded into the table we have 68,883 rows in the table this is how you should be able to validate whether the tables are successfully created or not and uh, here i have provided the instructions you should be able to run this type of queries against all the tables if you are interested you can take it up as an exercise and you should be able to validate against all the tables by yourself that being said we have successfully created retail db database in our postgres server we created the tables loaded the data into the tables and also we have validated by running simple sql queries make sure you follow this process to validate multiple datasets to be comfortable in interacting with the databases